change and innovation are happening at a staggering rate. There was a Kodak moment in 2002 when digital cameras overtook analog cameras with the very technology that Kodak invented yet suppressed. Kodak lost focus on capturing and sharing memories with a business need to sell more paper and chemicals. Now not only are we taking pictures, but we're locating them on a map through GPS. Location awareness has allowed us to find things on maps like Starbucks and has changed everything about how we navigate the world around us. Location awareness enabled by GPS is the foundation for the Internet of Things and smart cities and access to real-time data such as finding the next bus, reserving a hotel, finding where our friends are, Googling everything, data is stacked everywhere around us, and we expect this level of interactivity. It is no longer about one person trying to find one taxi on the street. It is a swarm of drivers networked through applications such as Uber that find you the right ride at the right place for the right price. This has fundamentally changed transportation in the city. Uber has overtaken taxis in 2015. They use the same global positioning system and other technologies combined together to bring you real-time access to rides. In this rapidly advancing world of smart cities and Internet of Things, we are all connected, but there's one gaping hole. The building industry has been overtaken by the technologies around us. Architects already process this complex data that can be incredibly valuable for this interconnected world. Even with building information modeling though, it's very much a file-based and project-focused format. We finish the project, we file it, and the BIMs are used to process information just for that one use. But the capability exists because the information is there, it's just in the wrong format, even with BIM. When I visited the Trinity College Library and looked at the knowledge of a nation in analog format in books stacked two stories high, I imagined crossing the green ropes and climbing up a ladder to get to a piece of knowledge in a book. Data in analog format is no longer an efficient way to share information in our world today. The complexity of the building industry has required structure and order in the tools and processes that we use to capture the knowledge and decisions that we make. But let's not let the tools from the past limit what we can do with the data today. Knowledge trapped in an analog canyon of books or buildings is still valuable. We are in an incredibly unique position as architects, planners, and engineers that know how buildings and cities are put together to help structure and extract that data in a format that is valuable for others and link it to the technologies that are surrounding us. In this post-analog world, Data and knowledge does not have to be stored and retrieved in a linear format. Cloud technologies and web services that drive Uber and other applications can be used to stream data from the cloud from BIM and support the Internet of Things in smart cities. BIM can link to it along with other information, but it's not necessarily at the center. Looking at bits of information as raindrops, one can then combine information to create new patterns, and machines can help crunch through those numbers to help us identify those patterns. The swarming intelligence of bees and birds and fish and ants allows them to communicate as a group and achieve what is not possible alone as a single ant. Now, humans are swarming. We're connected through the Internet of Things and smart cities and our devices. This is a civilizational shift and an opportunity for all architects, and we can achieve great things for the greater good together.